Hi, I'm Donovan Keith, and in this Cinema 4D Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to use the Material Exchanger to get multiple project files that have gotten out of sync back into sync, at least as far as their textures are concerned. So let's say you start with a model that looks like this, and you then, on one project file, start animating, and then you have your friend Terry work on the textures in another project file. She comes up with some really great looking uh, textures. You've got a good color scheme, but now you've got two different project files. And how are you going to integrate the two of them? Well, if you just copy and paste one bike from one scene to the other, you're going to lose all your animation. And if you copy and paste the textures from one scene to the other, you're going to have a bunch of duplicate textures that you have to try and deal with. Well, thankfully, there's a solution that allows us to integrate all of them very easily and that's the material exchanger. So first things first, go to the project file whose textures you want to update. In my case, that's my anim05 file. And then what you want to do is go to your material manager, go to function and choose material exchanger. It's going to bring up a file prompt. And in this file prompt, you want to select the most updated version of your textures and choose open. And it's going to say replace all materials and say yes. And what it's going to do is look through your project file and find any materials that have the same name as materials in another scene. And now when we render this, we're going to find that our materials have updated from their previous colors, which was a very yellow color scheme, to now this blue and green color scheme. And that's it. That's a very simple way to take project files that have gotten out of sync or out of whack and then bring them back together. Now, this is not the recommended workflow, but a good thing to know for those situations when things get a little bit out of hand.